Well, it's not the worst weather in the world, but it doesn't look all that good. Let me show you. I mean, it could be a lot, lot worse, but I was just outside this morning driving to the gym and uh, yeah, for, for as bad as it doesn't look, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, the roads were crazy, man. I was feeling like freaking Mario Kart slipping on bananas out there. So I think I'm gonna stay indoors today, which means uh, change of plans a little bit. I was gonna have a fun shoot plan for this video out, outside, but now we're gonna have to uh, find something to keep us entertained inside today. for just a sec because I had to take the microphone off the top to put it on a stand. But I just wanna show you how <laughs> ghetto my setup is right now. I'm getting ready to film like a separate kind of YouTube video, uh, more of a sit down style, but you gotta look at what I'm doing here. So I've got my light, okay, nothing weird there. I've got this old Canon camera that I used to, uh, used to use. Then I've got the current A7 III getting ready to take a thumbnail photo of this whole thing. But because my lighting wasn't good enough on the camera right there, I had to go and get my iPhone, turn the flashlight on, and I don't have any more tripods, so I put it on my bar stool on a couch cushion with a janky freaking uh, heat up rice sack, like kind of just holding up the whole thing. And after it's all said and done, you get this whole image right here. If that ain't balling on a budget, man, I don't know what is. Don't ever let someone or don't ever let yourself tell you that just because you don't have the gear doesn't mean that you can't uh, get the right result that you're looking for. <laughs> So just got finished working on some YouTube stuff, uh, making some different thumbnails and uh, just editing some videos. But uh, yeah, let me get into what I wanted to talk about for today's video. So let's talk about the New Year's, which by the way, at the time of you watching this video, we are officially in 2020, which is just crazy. I mean, not only is it a new year, but as we all know, it's a new decade, man. That's, that's just crazy. And you know, one thing I've noticed in the previous years is that a lot of people, when it comes to the new year uh, time of the year, is that a lot of people hate on new year's resolutions, which uh, I kind of understand because the idea of a resolution that you have to start at that new year's is kind of funny if you think about it, but I feel like this year, maybe just because it's 2020, but it's a really good year to make some goals and to really pursue something uh, that you're passionate about or that you're at least interested in. And so for me, I've got some big goals this year and it's not necessarily a resolution as much as it is just something that I'm really focused and determined on and something that I wanna do over the course of the next 12 months and that's put out more videos on YouTube and for 12 straight months, I wanna be really uh, consistent with the content that I put out on this channel because as I've just seen for so many people, uh, the, the key to success, and not just in videos, I guess it's really in anything, but uh, the key to growth is being consistent and setting your mind to something and then going out and accomplishing it. So for me, my goal this year specifically is I wanna put out at least 50 videos on YouTube this year which obviously, you know, we have 52 weeks in a year. So that's saying I wanna put out one video per week and maybe just, you know, a couple of times here or there, just give myself a little break uh, if I need to. But that's my goal this year. I wanna put out 50 videos on this channel. And I think uh, if I do so, you know, we'll just, we'll kind of see what happens. I don't really necessarily care with, you know, subscribers or how, uh, just the, like I don't care about the number, I guess is what I mean. Like I'm not trying to, get famous or 
you know, just grow a following for the sake of having a following. My, my long-term goal is to be able to go full-time as a creative, as a freelancer possibly. Uh, maybe YouTube helps pay some bills along the way. So that's, that's kind of where I'm thinking. That's kind of the direction that I'm going. But uh, just a message to anybody who's watching this video, considering a 2020 goal or resolution or whatever it might be, it might not even be related to you know photography or videography or just this whole creative field. But And so my message for anybody who's watching this video is just to pick a goal or a resolution or whatever it is, write it down. I think that always helps. And uh, just put your mind to it. I think this is gonna be a great year if you want it to be. And for me, I've got tons of other hopes and goals that have nothing to do with social media or YouTube or creating content or anything like that. You know, I've got a ton of like personal uh, goals and spiritual, you know, uh, hopes that I want to see happen and just be a part of. But anyways, the whole point of this vlog, the whole point of this little tidbit at, tidbit at the end is uh, just to encourage anybody, to encourage myself, to kind of put it out there. I feel like once I've put it out there, I've said, hey, 50 videos is my goal. It's kind of hard to uh, come back from that. So uh, hopefully you guys can hold me accountable to that. But anyways, yeah, that's the video. Nothing too exciting today. Like I said, the weather kind of poo-pooed on any idea that I had to go outside. But anyways, I hope you guys have a you know happy new year. I hope this year is amazing for every single person. And I'm wishing everybody nothing but the best of luck. And so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, it would mean the world to me to hit that like button. If you're new here, maybe consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.